The price on the foam sheets are as they are reflected. It is 99 cents per sheet. As you saw, it came in 12 by 18 inches. Great. The stencil I have had for several, several years, you guys, so I couldn't even tell you where I got it from, but I can tell you this. It was very flimsy, almost like paper. So for that reason, I did use the clear transparent tape to tape the edges down. That being said, I started off by using a color pencil to outline it, and then I really wasn't liking the effect. Not to mention that you keep in mind the foam sheets do dent very easily, and it tends to not bounce back. So, I thought, why not use eyeshadow? And note, even though it may look like I'm applying a lot of pressure, I'm using a very light hand in applying the eyeshadow onto the stencil. If I may, I'm going to inject a little food for thought right here and just say this, is that the premise of my channel is to give us ideas on how to be more self-reliant or self-sufficient in a day and time in which things are so expensive. I was just looking at some pricing of some things I had not only a month ago and saw a 25% increase in the price. And we cannot all afford those things. So that being said, my premise in this channel is to show you how you can get those things, especially when we have little ones. We always mention that, but there are some of us who enjoy things just for ourselves. And if I can, I'm going to show ways in which you can achieve those things on your own with resources you may already have. Now let's get back to the video. I've had this stencil for almost 20 years. I did look on Amazon to see if I can find some likenesses there. There were several angel stencils online, however, not the exact replica of what I have, but actually there were some I thought was even better. And some of you guys are so artistically inclined that you can draw them yourselves. I wanted to make my angel ornaments a little bit substantial or sturdier, so I applied cardboard to the backing, and I left a little opening near the head so that I can insert the little loop that it would hang by, and then, of course, I used my sure bonder glue gun. In this white cap, I'm showing you white pearl paint, which I use to go around the back of the heads to kind of emulate a halo. So I use the chunky silver glitter just sporadically on the wings for added bling. And then, of course, on the sides, I added the silver glitter on the sides just so that the cardboard was not showing. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed my video of me making my angel ornaments. And if you notice the angels, the majority of them that are on a non-traditional Christmas tree decoration, that video is coming out next. If you're interested in checking it out, go ahead and make sure you put on your notification bell so you won't miss it. That being said, you guys, oh yeah, and there's an additional kind of contemporary light tree as well. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you for your time. You guys know what's coming next because I know that it is non-refundable. You guys, please, please stay safe, as safe and healthy as you possibly can. Bye-bye.